Hey guys, Shane here with One Chip Time. How are you doing? It is episode 16 of the NHL Power Rankings, and what a season we're having. Uh, it's clipping along way too fast. I can't believe how far through the season we are already. But let's jump right into these Power Rankings. So we got number 10, uh, the Minnesota Wild. They're popping their head back into the top 10 after quite a while. It's out there, but they are 31, 21, and 5 for 67 points. Fourth in the Central. They're winners of three in a row, including some big wins over the Los Angeles Kings and the Dallas Stars. Uh, Krill Kaprizov, what a guy. That guy's just on another planet for them. He's got 33 goals, 67 points. Uh, if you don't count McDavid and Pasternak, that's really good. <laughs> uh, they look on to take on the Columbus Blue Jackets tonight uh, before they take on the Leafs on Friday. Number nine, we got the Seattle Kraken. Again, they're back. It's awesome. 32, 19, and 6, 70 points. They're third in the Pacific. And uh, they did lose to San Jose on Monday. That was 4 0. That was. That was not the best, uh, but they were winners of three of four before that, uh, including the Oilers and the Jets. So uh, some some good teams, and they had their uh, they have the, a very tough game coming up as they do take on the Boston Bruins tonight. So uh, the hottest team in hockey for sure. Number eight, we got the Colorado Avalanche. They're thirty one nineteen and five. That's sixty seven points, and they are third in the Central. And uh, to the surprise of absolutely no one, the Colorado Avalanche are getting hot at the right time of the year. They're winners of their last, uh, four of their last five, sorry, uh, with big wins over the, again, the Oilers, the Wild, Florida. Uh, they look to keep it going as they do take on the Winnipeg Jets on Friday. Number seven, we got the Los Angeles Kings, 32, 19, and 7 for 71 points. They are second in the Pacific. And this is one hell of a great underdog story. I don't think a lot of people had them uh, doing much better than they did last year, but here they are, and they're playing really good. They had a four-game winning streak. Uh, that was snapped by the Minnesota Wild, but uh, they're playing really good. And uh, again, uh, they, they do have another tough win, or a tough match coming again. Uh, the Devils tonight, uh, I can see them winning this, though. The Devils are a damn good team, though, so that could go either way. Number six, dropping a couple, we do have the New York Rangers. They're 33, 15, and 9, 75 points, and they are third in the Metro. They did have a six-game winning streak going until they headed into Calgary. Uh, Calgary was able to beat them. Then they lost a second straight to the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, so that did drop them a, a little bit. They uh, look to return to their winning ways as they do take on Detroit, who's also been really good this season. <laughs> Number five, we do have the Tampa Bay Lightning. They're 36, 17, and three for 75 points. Third in the Atlantic, again, they did lose a close one to Arizona, that was one nothing. And then they had another good battle to Las Vegas, uh, which they lost. So they did drop a couple, uh, but they are able uh, to get going again tonight against the Ducks, I think, which is, you know, one of the worst teams in the NHL. So I definitely think they can pick that one up. <coughs> Uh, before they have another easily winnable game uh, against Buffalo on Tuesday. So. Number four, we do have the Toronto Maple Leafs. And they are 35, 15, and 8. 78 points. Second in the Atlantic. And winners of three of their last four. Uh, only Kane's hat trick in that game against Chicago ruined that. But they did beat Chicago two games before. So nothing to be too concerned about there. The addition of Ryan O'Reilly looks like a good start for sure. He's already got a hat trick. I'm not sure that really fills in a void that the Leafs were necessarily missing. They'll help get them past the first round, but only time's going to tell. Uh, they do take on the Wild on Friday. I think we already went over that on the Wild. Uh, number three, we do have the New Jersey Devils. They're 35, 15, no, 37, 15, and 5 for 79 points. That is second in the Metro, and they're in, still enjoying a great Cinderella season as well. Uh, they did lose to the Canadians Tuesday, uh, but they did win again three or four before that, and they do have another tough match as they do take on the LA Kings on Tuesday. Number two, and dropping out of first, it is the Carolina Hurricanes, 38, 10, and 8, 84 points, first in the Metro. Yeah, I did drop them, but it's definitely not due to their play. I'm, I mean, this is a team that's only won or lost one game in their last 11, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, there's only one reason there's a team ahead of them, but we'll get to that. Uh, they do have a couple of easy games coming up as they do take on the Sens and the Ducks, so I look to them just keep that rolling, and they might claim that first spot again. But for first this week, returning to their spot, it is the number one Boston Bruins. They are 43, 8, and 5, 
91 points, first in the elect uh, Atlantic and on a record-breaking pace. Uh, I don't know how you don't have this team as number one when they are on record to have one of the best regular seasons in the history of the NHL. Uh, this is clearly a stacked team. Uh, I can't have them anywhere but first place. They're winners of four in a row again, and they're looking to keep it up when they head out to a West Coast road trip starting in Seattle tonight. Let me know in the comments below, of course, how your top 10's looking, how your team's doing, anything like that. I love reading all your comments. Uh, give this thing a like, share it around. If you're not already, please consider subscribing. We're only 9 away from 150. I'd love that. That's been a goal for a month or two now. I'd like to get that definitely before the season ends. So thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode.